Welcome into the video, welcome into the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. And man, it feels like it's been forever since I've done a video here on the channel. And well, it's been a little while, um, but you know, life gets in the way sometimes. So sorry, I haven't been able to do more content lately, but I do have some big news to talk about coming up here on the channel. So be on the lookout for that video, pretty exciting stuff. All right, let's get the usual out of the way. What you're looking at on your screen is my 77 inch LG C2. We're not talking C2 today. Actually, we're talking Apple TV 4K because well, for the first time ever, 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 ever from the, as quoted by the great Smokey from the movie Friday. If you haven't checked that out, I recommend it. For the first time ever, I turned on the Apple TV 4K today and it actually prompted me without solicitation, letting me know that there's a new tvOS software update available. I could not believe it. I thought there was an error. I thought something was messed up when I first glanced and it was legitimately telling me there was an update available. Now I wish I could get it to do it again. I just restarted it and I was hoping it would pop back up. Naturally it didn't. All right, so let's make sure I wasn't hallucinating earlier and go into the uh, settings here and see if there actually is an update available. So let's go down here to system, software updates, and I'm currently on tvOS 17.6. Let's click update software. And sure enough, here's an update pop-up. It does say an update is available to 17.6.1. And judging by that tvOS firmware, that doesn't very, make me very hopeful that we're gonna get any new features or any up, uh, anything fun with this update, but you know me, I'm gonna go ahead and install it anyway. And if you don't know me, well, one of the things I do on my channel is I do these software updates like day one, the update is pushed out or as quick as possible because, well, I wanna get these updates installed on my electronics so that I can show you a video saying, hey, this is gonna break your TV, this is gonna break your device, it's gonna break this feature, or everything looks okay, you're good to go. So it kinda of gives you an idea of whether you should install the update or not. But anyhow, from here, let me go ahead and click download and install. I'm not gonna have, sit, I'm not gonna have you sit here and wait with me. I'll go ahead and get it installed. If I encounter any problems during install, I will be sure to pop back in and let you know. Otherwise, when I come back on the other side, I'll do some basic testing on tvOS 17.6.1, see if anything new came with it. And after that, I'll go through actually what comes with the update. I don't know if you can see me in the reflection or not, but I don't really give a Dude, I've been on this verifying update screen for about 10 minutes now. 10 minutes, just sitting here, verifying the update i just when i give apple a little praise about something they they do shit like this you know okay well i'm gonna finish waiting for the update and um you know i'll check back in with you at some point and i'm back and the update finally finished installing oh i can't tell you how long i sat on that verifying update screen but that was one of the worst ones yet. Generally, they don't have you sit on a screen like that. It'll maybe it'd be stuck on that dark screen with the Apple logo shining through the middle, which is why in a lot of my prior videos, I recommend that if you have an OLED TV like this one you're looking at on your screen right now that I have, I recommend you turn the brightness down or put it on a low brightness setting during an Apple update because it will put that Apple logo on there. If you have any worries about things like temporary image retention or even worse permanent image retention aka burn-in turn down the brightness for apple updates anyway um gosh the only thing that took longer than doing that apple update is me doing the talking during my videos right i mean anyhow you know how it is um all right so let's uh let's navigate around here a little bit um so let's head on down into settings and see if uh, we see anything different here uh, appearance, sleep, you know. Okay, none of that looks different. Th I'm not going into that. Video and audio, did it change any of my settings? That's one that I have to pay attention to as well. 4K SDR, looking good there. Uh, I've had people ask me why I keep the default format on 4K SDR. It's because I have an OLED screen here and if you change this to 4K HDR or whatever else is in here, I haven't been in here in a while. Yeah, 4K HDR or Dolby Vision, what's gonna happen is, 
is that when you're back out on the apps menu, you're just gonna have the brightest possible settings on that apps menu all day, every day, and that's just not a good thing for an OLED TV, you know? But anyway, uh, but once my content starts playing, whether it's HDR or Dolby Vision, the display and the Apple TV 4K work together and it changes it to an HDR format anyway, which is perfect. And how do I know it does that? Because of this right here. All right, the rest of this in here, audio format, this is another one. If you, if you have not followed my channel very long or you just discovered my channel, I highly recommend you go back and look at some of my videos where I had an ongoing battle between this LG C2, the Apple TV 4K device, it didn't matter if it was this version, which is the third gen or second gen, and then my Sony receiver and trying to get Atmos to play correctly. Just to get it to line up and play the way it's supposed to, I did kind of a mini video series on that. A lot of frustration, a lot of laughs, you know, probably for the audience, but uh, anyway, I'm glad to see Atmos available still showing up here. And leave me a comment below. I don't come into this menu this far very often, but if you see anything here that wasn't before, uh, leave me a comment, let me know, and I'll check into it. But other than that, I'm not really seeing anything uh, crazy going on here. So from what I could tell, nothing in the way of new features added. I'll keep digging into it and uh, do an update somewhere along the way if I decide. Now, maybe some of the applications, we'll go back to this uh, home menu here, some of the applications may have received an update, like you see this little blue dot. I'm guessing that means the update, uh, the app has updated. There's another one. Look at all these blue dots, you know? Blue is my favorite color, so I don't mind that. But anyway, what came with this update? Well, from what I can tell, just looking on the World Wide Web, all that comes with 17.6.1 are bug fixes and general maintenance. So I'm not even gonna like put up a fancy graphic, get on the face cam and you know, make it whatever. It's not worth it. I'm just here to let you know. I went through the settings menu. I don't see anything new added that's any fun, anything new at all actually. And from what I could tell, all that came with this were you know, some bug fixes and general maintenance. Leave me a comment below. Have you had problems with 17.6 tvOS? Let me know what those bugs are, I'd be curious, because what I'll be hopeful for for you is that this update corrects those bugs for you. Me personally, I can't think of too many bugs I've experienced here on my third gen Apple TV 4K on 17.6, so for me it's same, you know, whatever. It's, you know, I don't even care. This update was just, I was hopeful they put a new feature in here, something fun that I could talk about, but unfortunately they didn't. So. That's gonna wrap up this video. If you did enjoy the video, you found it entertaining, you found it helpful, it kind of gives you an idea of whether you wanna install the update or not. Whatever it is, if you appreciate the video at all, hit the like button, doesn't cost you anything and it really helps my channel out a lot. If you're not subscribed yet, you enjoy this kind of content, you wanna stay up to date on your electronics for updates, things like that, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell. But with all that being said, until the next one.